Hey guys, Joshua here and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showcasing you how to build my QR new generation rolling stock. This train is a six carriage set which operates in southeast Queensland, Australia, manufactured by Bombardier replacing the Queensland Rail EMUs which are now about 40 years old. Thanks to Brad Roberts for suggesting the tutorial and if you want me to make a tutorial on any of the trains I've made be sure to comment in the description below. This train uses 1.5 ton scale and uses this type of track which has three slabs with two anvils in the middle of them. You can also alternatively use this design which replaces the anvils with dark oak stairs pointing inwards to uh, emulate the narrow gauge uh, tracks because QR uses narrow gauge on their network and because this is 1.5 to 1 scale it should the design should work for any standard track anyways let's get to it so the first thing you want to do is get your blocks so you need black concrete grey concrete light grey concrete white concrete, yellow concrete, cyan concrete, black stained glass and uh, black plain glass as well. So to begin we're going to be doing the front carriage. First thing you want to do is you want to build three blocks above the ground like so and then you want to extend this 34 times so all right so that's 34 times there and now you want to add another layer each side. Alright, after this you want to get your white concrete out and you want to build one, two, three, four on this side and one, two, three, four on the other side and then you want to finish the rest of it using light grey concrete like so. Alright, after this you want to extend down here uh, by one block, so three blocks on either side, and then you put extend it outwards, and then put the yellow concrete on the front, and then you can use black concrete there in the middle, and then have the white concrete covering on the outside. Now you want to go up, up here, put a block up on the top section here, and now you want to build the black concrete going in the inside like so. And you want this to be uh, six two by six, so two upwards and six diagonal. And then you want to extend this all the way to the end. All right. Once you got that done, you want to fill this in with black concrete, and this layer here with black concrete. And then you want to get your black stained glass and fill this in like so. And now you want to go to the side here, place white concrete on either end here, and then putting the black stained glass on the side, the black stained paint on the side to um, emulate the mirrors. And now you want to get your black stained concrete again. Right, and then you want to build two here in the front, missing a gap here, and then miss a gap, one, miss a gap, put another one here, miss a gap, miss two gaps, sorry, and then do that until you've reached the back of the train. And now you want to redo that on the other side. Alright, once you've done that, you want to get out your, keep out your black concrete and just fill this top section here. And now you want to get out your light grey concrete. Light grey, not dark grey. Fill that in like so. And then you want to do this with white concrete uh, and on, do it on the other side as well and just delete that in there. And now you want to get 
your nether brick stairs, smooth stairs, and st smooth stone stairs. And with your student smooth stone stairs, fill this top section first, unlike what I just did. And then you want to fill in the rest of this until you reach here. And then get out your light grey concrete and fill that in like that. This is for the air conditioning that's on top of the QR unit, the um, NGR unit. And then you want to fill the rest, making sure there's a gap in between here. So that's where the solar panels or the, the um, light daylight sensors are going to be. And then you want to keep going until you've reached the back and just make sure you have one block space here to put the quartz block so I'll actually get that out now and then get your smooth quartz stairs do it on that side and then you want to fill this section with your smooth quartz stairs and then do the same for the other side and making sure that this stair is facing in the forwards direction of the train. Alright, now if you've got that done, you want to fill these bronze sections with nether brick stairs, uh, ignoring this section because that's where the door is going to be, and then two block space, and then here, here, and then get nether brick stairs and place that there. And then you want to do the same on the other side as well. Place the nether brick stairs here, nether brick slab. Then you want to skip this two. One, two, three, four, five. Skip this one and one, two at the end here. Right, after that, you get your yellow concrete out and then delete these um, light gray concrete, uh, replacing them with the yellow concrete, which is where the door is going to be. And do that on the other side as well. Right, now when that's done, you want to get some oak stairs and oak slabs and then finish the front of the train like this and then like so M making sure to place the yellow concrete on these two areas and then oak slabs on the top here and then on the top on the other side right, after that you want to get your smooth stone slabs out again and then making sure to fill in this undercarriage area and then you want to do that at the end as well and once you did that you can fill this area with white concrete and then get out some stone brick stairs and your and some cyan terracotta and then put that under here on the front on both sides and then get your stone stairs and then put that on the like so get the white concrete and then you do that get some stone tra iron trap doors sorry and then put that like there and then you get your smooth quartz and then you can put that there and then you put the black stained concrete behind like that and then since we're at the front I might let us put the stone buttons here okay now once you've done that get out your stone brick stairs and stone slabs and then you want to place stone brick stairs here and nether brick slabs on the top as well okay and now get out your black stained concrete and the areas that the windows should be you want to replace them with the glass and this stair is facing the wrong way and then you want to repeat that for the uh, for the rest of the train once you've done that we'll finish the top of the train for the front carriage, place daylight sensors, make sure to right click so that's set to night mode, then get some scaffolding, then you want to place them over here, like so, and then get your iron trapdoors and then place it on the top 
making sure to put a smooth stone slab right in the middle. So once you've got that done, we'll start on the other car undercarriage to get some grey concrete and make sure to put that like here. One, two, three, and then you want to get some stone brick slabs, put that underneath like here. And then you want to get some light grey concrete and smooth stone slabs. One, two, three, like repeating the same pattern as before, and then placing the stone brick slabs underneath, then a space, and then do the exact same thing. And then you want to end it off with the uh, dark grey um, concrete, and get the stone brick slabs, and then finish the bottom off there like so. And then get the chiseled stone bricks for the um, bogies, and then place it like here, making sure to hold shift, no, wait a second, placing it a two block gap and then you want to get another two block gap in between like there, get the stone brick slabs and a hopper and then you put a one hopper here and one on the other side, then you fill this in with stone brick slabs and then you do that on the top, hopper in here, hopper in here and then do that on the same here and do the hoppers on here as well. So yeah, there's a lot of hoppers involved. There's a lot of hoppers involved when making the bogies. All right, and that should be good. And then you get the cobblestone wall and then fill this middle section in with the cobblestone wall in a two, point, a two by three pattern. All right, and then you wanna get a hopper and place it in here, dark oak fence, place it in there and then place the iron trapdoors in here and repeat the pattern, the, repeat the placement on the other side as well. And then make sure it's facing that way. If you're using bedrock, then you won't be able to do this next step. But what I'm going to do, you get the stone button, get a lever, and this is just for an extra amount of detail and then make sure you have world edit installed and then get your wand by doing slash slash wand and what you want to do place it here place a button and then what left click and right click and do slash slash move then you want to do the, repeat the same process but instead with a lever and then just move that into place and then you can do slash copy slash paste and then do that with the lever as well. Yep. And then because I'm using world edit, so that only Java users will be able to do this. You can copy this section and I can do a uh, slash flip. And then if I go to the other side of the train, I can do forward slash paste and then it pastes on the other side and that's how they get the bogies on and then what I can do and for um, bedrock players you have to repeat this process or bed bedrock or um, non world edit players I should say you'll have to repeat the process for the up front of the train but for me I'm gonna do slash copy fly on to the other side of the train and paste I think that there you go and the bogies are in place now and now we can just get the uh, terracotta sign terracotta stone slab do that for the end like so now it's just to get the banners on so what you want to do you want to get a loom out so you want to get a black banner and you want to get some yellow dye and white dye. Go in the craft table, place it here. Yellow. And you want to choose the border. And you want to choose this pattern. And then you want to repeat the process for the white dye, for the white banner. And then border, and then select this pattern base 
Alright, and once you've got that done, you want to get some white banners and yellow banners, and then do the place it here. Nope. So you want to place it on the um, white concrete and on the left of the grey concrete. And then do this for the rest of the train. And then just use the yellow banners for the other doors. Alright, that's the front carriage done. Let's move on to the second carriage. So what you're going to do is you want to get some grey wood, grey carpet and stone brick slab. And you want to place, place it like this on the back. Place the grey stone slab carpet over here. And then you want to place some slabs on the bottom here. Now to make this banner pattern, what you want to do, probably shouldn't have deleted that loan, get some grey banners or one grey banner and then light grey dye and then you want to get black dye place this here then you want to get um, a light grey pally and then you want to get black pally and then that's the the bogey the, not the bogey, the um, gangway design and now, you want, now after that you want to get your black concrete out again and like last time you want to extend this 34 blocks from the base here. Alright, and that's 34. And then you have to do the same on the side. Alright, after that, you want to place the black concrete like so, like this. One, two, like this. Making room for the windows, unlike what I did on my on the front carriage. Alright, now you want to get your grey concrete out and then just build this on the side here and then do it on the other side. Get out the smooth uh, stone and put this on the bottom end here and on the um, front end like that and then repeat this for the other side and the back of the train. Alright, after that you want to go to the top here you want to get your smooth quartz block and your smooth stairs, put that like that and then do that for the back of the carriage and then you want to get out your smooth stone block and then place this like so alright after that get out your yellow concrete then you want to do you fill this in and then fill this in as well. And then do the same for the back of the train. So fill this in with the black concrete, fill this in with the yellow concrete. And then you want to get the, um, the black concrete and then do this. And then basically extend the extruding parts using the black concrete and do the same for the other side and now you want to get the nether brick slabs and place it like so and repeat the process for the other side of the couch and then you can get your black stained glass and fill this in and then basically mirror that on the other side like it, you do for the other processes. Alright, after that you want to get out your quartz and your stairs and then place it like so. Making sure to not miss any gap. Alright, and then now get out your light grey concrete and then you want to do this for the air conditioner on the carriage on this from the front, second from the front and then you want to do this and fill this in with like grey concrete and then you want to fill those in with daylight sensors and right click them to turn them into the night mode and now you want to get the um, scaffolding blocks if I can click on it and then I can do this you can do that and then do that 
And now for the undercarriage, it's pretty much the same. So you want to do get stone slabs, cyan concrete, terracotta, sorry, and then place that on that side. Do the same for the other side. Then get the um grey concrete, and then you want to place that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blocks away. So that would be here. I'm pretty sure. Yep. And then you want to do three by three. And then you want to get out the light grey concrete and then place it like here. And make sure to do three by three, but instead this one doesn't have this gap in between. And then you want to get out your smooth stone slabs and then place it on the bottom here. All right, and now what you want to do, place the grey concrete like so, and then place the stone brick slabs like this. Okay, and then you want to basically repeat the same bogey design. I'll put a time mark in the video, so you can go back to that. But I'm just going to copy this because I have welded it. All right, and once you've built the bogies on either side of the carriage, get out the banner design for the doors, and then you want to place that on the doors here. And then after that, you want to get out the um, hoppers, like so. Place it in this pattern, you know, uh, being one block away from each other. And then you want to get uh, some stone brick slabs place it like so and then you want to get a stone brick slab and place it like this place the anvil here and now if you are a java player you can get these heads from a slash give command I'll put a link in the description for that but if you're a bedrock player uh, you'll just you can just use the um, skeleton skulls and make sure they're facing inwards so you can't see the um, skull, the head of the skull, place it like this, get the um, stone, place it like that, then you want to get some flower plots and place it on here. Okay now you want to get some nether brick slabs, nether brick stairs, and then oak, dark oak gate, dark oak trapdoor, and black carpet, and then you want to place it like this. And then this, delete this, and place it back here, and then do place that, delete that, and place this here, open that. Then you want to go here, here, place this here, and do the same on the other side, delete that, and then you want to hold shift, place the trapdoor on the top, like this, and then placing the dark oak fence or holding shift, and then making sure they're opened. And then you want to place the black carpet on the top here. And again, if you're a bedrock player, you could just place um, like a dark oak slab like there, kind of, and it kind of looks like it's connected. Or you can um, do, if you have world edit, you can do this. So in order to do this, you do that design. And if you're a Java player, what you want to do, place three blocks like there. Place the letters here. I want to do slash slash um, at P. And then you want to do debug stick. And then you want to right click like so. Do the same like this. You want and then you want to right click it so they're facing, one's facing the ceiling and one's facing the floor left click to say where it says facing then you want to do that so yeah you want to repeat the same process for the other side so making sure this is floor and then ceiling then facing like that and then what you want to do you get the lever and then make sure it's facing backwards and then you can just repeat the um the gangway design from the front of the um, the middle carriage, in front of this carriage,
And then, and that space, that's the uh, second carriage done. And to make a third carriage, which is the middle carriage of the train, or one of the two middle carriages, is basically the same process, except you don't have to build a pantograph on the top, and you don't have these things on it. But, but on that one you do. So if you want to make it ultra accurate, then make sure to put this on the sec on the fourth carriage, even though it probably doesn't matter. But anyways, guys, thanks for making this video in this tutorial on how to build my QR NCL train in 1.51 scale in Minecraft. And thanks to Brad Rockets for the suggestion. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe to the video if you enjoyed. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to stick around for my other videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.